it's cool being the somebody that I needed when I was younger. Mm. Oh. Showing them that there's there's space for them. Yeah. yeah. Where yeah. they're going. Because this company, this cast, is so diverse. Mm -hmm. And all the roles that we wish we'd seen growing up are in every single queen. <laughs> Hello, we are here at the Skylark. I am here with the queens of Six the Musical and the co-writer Lucy Moss and co-director Lucy Moss of Six the Musical. I think actually it's the first time that this group of people have all like sat down together to have a little chin wag. Am I, am I right? Am I wrong? So <laughs> Tell right, me if I'm wrong. So <laughs> I can take it. Yeah. <laughs> and we thought it'd be cool to just sit down all together and have a chat to check in, catch up and spill the Tudor tea, as it were. So. Adriana, you want to go first? I think I could for a change. You know what I'm saying? Know. <laughs> oh, okay, but my question actually is for Lucy. You get the first question. Ooh. Yay. <laughs> so for people who don't know, a big part of the rehearsal process is giving a presentation on each of our queens. Yeah, y'all remember that. It was oh, really yeah. cool. Can you talk about crafting that process and why it was so important? Yes. Oh my gosh, yes. The queen presentations, for those who don't know, uh, happens kind of at the end, uh, towards the end of our first week of rehearsals. And obviously, as you all know very well, with these characters, they're kind of half the, the character and half yourselves. And so it's always so important that people kind of have a personal connection to their queen and they really kind of like create their own like relationship and understand what happened to them and then like how they resonate with them. And so it's really then important what we do is we kind of have, we get together and everyone kind of presents their queen story in a kind of like whatever format they want is a sort of really amazing way to like mesh our like your brilliant selves with the characters for the first time and also to be able to kind of like share them on your own terms with each other. So the show isn't really about their stories, right? It's about you all, it's about us. It's about women today, you know? And that's my answer to your question, Adriana. I love, <laughs> good. I love that, that process too. That was so fun because I didn't know anything about these women. So I feel like I've got a question for you, Sam. <laughs> for me? Um, for you, yes. Okay. So the Broadway live album recently surpassed 6 million streams. Yeah. Did it? Oh, Which I don't really know. How exciting yeah. is that? And also, All You Want to Do was voted favorite new song by Broadway.com Audience Choice Awards. So. What has the reaction been like for you? Like, what's it like hearing yourselves? It's been very surreal. I feel like everyone probably feels that way. It was really wild. I don't think any of us knew what to expect when we were listening to it. And particularly for All You Want to Do and what the song is and what I know it means to a lot of people because, you know, in all of the times that we've worked on it, you had to tell me a lot, like, it doesn't have to sound good. It doesn't have to sound pretty because that's not what this experience is. It's not pretty, it's ugly. And so I think I was very nervous to hear that as it has come out and people have listened to it. There's kind of like a, I guess, like a gratitude, not only for me, but for other people that have listened to it to say like, I'm so happy that this is what version we have. I'm like kind of realizing all of this as I'm saying it, which is really kind of wild. Um, it forever exists in this version. And I made that. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Which is wild. And I think we all feel like that about our individual songs that like listening to it, we're like, oh my God, that's, that's me. I feel like for me listening to it, it's like what I can hear is just all of the work that all of us put in for so long. Like, hearing that and like, especially the like, it being from the opening night, and it's just so brilliant that you've all like immortalized that with your very, very special you know, performances. And it's like also having our alternate song there, doing yeah, so it's just like. It. My question is for, Everyone, oh, 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 oh. Oh, what has it meant to you to see fans get so empowered by the message of the show? Seeing these little kids come see the show, for me, I think I get a huge kick out of it because it changes their whole like perspective on what musical theater is. Mm -hmm. And like, they, they're they now like making their own costumes and diving into a world that they didn't know existed before. Like, it's just amazing. And anytime I can like, wave or like make a connection with one of those kids out there. I just feel like, I don't know, it's just gonna inspire them to wanna be able to like work harder and continue doing what they're doing to get to where we are. Mm -hmm. Cause that's what I remember growing up as a kid. Yeah. It's been really special because we grew up 
not seeing what they see on stage. So I feel like I get to live my younger self's dream through their eyes and see what they're seeing. And with the powers of social media and how active we all are, they have more of a connection to us too. So it's, it's cool being the somebody that I needed when I was younger. Mm. And showing them that there's there's space for them. Yeah. Where yeah. they're going. Because this company, this cast, is so diverse. Mm -hmm. And all the roles that we wish we'd seen growing up are in every single queen. Mm -hmm. And it's I'm very happy that we can have those moments with them when they're in the audience. And I know when I say hello to a kid, they're making my night. Mm -hmm. rather, and I hope I can do the same for them. It's those moments that create just like core memories for yeah. them. I had a question for you. Oh! As our newest company member, as like Kathy Parr, what's that been like for you? It's been a, a ride. I feel like I've been trying to soak in and take in all that you've built in the last three years in those two months. And it's been more beautiful than anything. Just watching the community bond a little bit closer and, and just seeing how much you guys love each other and on stage and off. It's, it's very special and I'm very happy to be a part of it. Yeah. You're very excellent at it. Yeah, you are. You, are. <laughs> you bring such a warmth to it, which I really love. Thank you. And your voice is, is ridiculous. Having played the role myself. <laughs> yes! Which you hate, by the way. I, I, know, I know just how challenging it can be. <laughs> many, many hours. Yeah. Well, I think I have a question now. And it's for Dre. Uh, what do you think little Dre would think of you today? I hope that she's happy. You know, I didn't, I never thought that I would be here. Broadway was always like, Broadway, yes. I'm from Winnipeg, small town. And then it happened and it, it was wild. And I think it's just the journey of all of us coming together, all of our stories and our lives at the time when we got the news that this was coming here. I think we were all like, LOL, what? <laughs> <laughs> Truly. Always in character. <laughs> Always. But at, at the end of it all, I hope that little me is proud. My question is for Abs. What has made this experience one of a kind? Well, obviously the people, but also this is the first time I've been part of an original Broadway yeah, mama. musical. So, which is, was always one of my dreams, right? So it's been really neat to, to have been a part of it from the start in Chicago. It's just been a trip and I'm just so grateful. And I, uh, the, the fact that we're here at this moment now, it's just really cool to be able to celebrate. I'm proud of us for mm -hmm. getting here. And thank you guys for writing it oh <laughs> so we can all be here. Our pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> I have a question for Dre. For me, like the, the message of Six has taught staying true to who you are and like owning your story and your voice. I feel like that's a major theme. What has the show taught you about yourself, would you say? <sighs> so many things. <laughs> How loving yourself is a priority. Mm. It truly is because I don't have to compartmentalize myself because one day I, I am Catherine Vergon, one day I'm actually Seymour, one day I'm a Cleves, one day I'm a Par, you know, and but it's been so freeing to have permission to evolve, permission to be loved by not just the audience, but by you all to love in return. That has been the most beautiful journey with Catherine of Aragon. And she's also been a challenge in breaking me out of my shell to not hide, to not put up any walls and just to shine. Yeah, that's a great question. I, I love that so much. There's so many things I could say about that. Yeah. Aww. Okay. <laughs> Mallory. So you cover multiple queens mm -hmm. who all have to find their own voices in the show. How has the show helped you find your voice? Oh. Well, <laughs> it's it's really 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 rip it out. Rip it out. Rip it out. Right. I mean, so it's tough. <laughs> it's tough because I feel like it could be a loaded question because I've learned from you guys so much on stage, watching you guys and what you put into the characters. And you guys, the creatives have given us support as alternates to be ourselves, even while playing these characters, even while we've said it with how you guys are playing it. Mm -hmm. I have more power than I ever thought 
I yeah, could have when I first started and I'm not like afraid of a challenge. And I don't know, there's just so many good positive things that came from doing the show and being a queen on stage and being able to be myself in different ways as all the different queens that I cover. Yeah, it's been an amazing experience. I have a question for Toby. Last but not least. Oh my gosh, thank you. What has been your favorite moment from this journey? Woo! Well. <laughs> that was really good. Wow. I know. I don't know, it's funny like being here and all like, I've just been thinking a lot about the like auditions and like Aww. first time like seeing you and like, and then this person like seeing all the material Woo! and like, but I, the moment I've been, I was, I, I think it's, I don't know if it's my favorite, but it's one of them is it was in like, I would probably say Feb 2020 when we were, in like tech or previews or something. And there was one moment where the band were like running the opening and you guys like came into the audience. It was your first time kind of like hearing what we hear all the time and yeah. hearing like the noise and hearing four gatehouses, stunning sound design. Yeah. And I remember you all found it, I think quite emotional and I, overwhelming. I was sobbing. I was yeah. sobbing. Yeah. And, and I was like, oh, that's so nice that you get to like experience this like gorgeous sound that everyone's created. Obviously like, you guys are so good in Six the Musical, to get me wrong, a really good Six Musical. But one of the things I'm also so, so proud of in the, in the show is like the band and, and the orchestrations that Tom Curran made and the sound design and just like, like all those elements that make this sonic world. For you to experience that for the first time was, I don't know, special, special for me. So I'm so proud of you guys. I'm so proud of the sound of the show. So it was nice for those worlds to come together. Do you know what I mean? You're on stage, like doing this amazing thing and you don't even like, you know, you only know a tiny bit of how it feels. I feel like yeah, that moment of going like, oh wait, like we, it's mm -hmm. almost yeah. a moment of being yeah. like, oh, this is the like power that we have. I mean, obviously you couldn't hear yourself singing because yeah. of that, but like, it's just so funny that we like obviously get used to it because we yeah. hear it all the time and we're like, oh yeah, it sounds like phenomenal, like whatever. No, totally, like, yeah. <laughs> I know sometimes when we're doing the show, we look in the crowd and we see people bawling their eyes yeah. out. Oh yeah. Like, yeah. I get it. <laughs> yeah. I can't and even I'm always right. like, I should sit further back so they can't see that. <laughs> <laughs> I think one that, that sticks out is the first preview in Chicago oh. when we walked. I don't even know yeah. if it happened when the curtain parted yeah. or before the curtain parted. Yeah. And we heard the screams coming from the audience. And I feel like we all looked at each other and walked to our spots to do the this. And we were like, I was shaking. What's yeah. happening? Yeah. And, and it was just at that <laughs> moment, I think we all kind of dropped into like, Oh, this is so. We knew it was special, but we just there was a very strong moment of like you're part of something really special. I'm gonna cheat a little bit, Ooh. and mine is the like seeing you all feel that uh, response yeah. in that moment because that's I think particularly in the opening chat when it's like how are you doing tonight and they're like, <laughs> and like seeing everyone's like eyes be like oh my god and then it's like that sort of moment of being like okay we either like have to like jump on board with this and like seeing everybody just like go okay like and like grab onto the audience and like wow. do, do yeah. the thing it's just like we're yeah. sad yeah. 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 so i'm gonna steal yeah. the yeah. no. wow i think my favorite moment would be your first performance back mm -hmm. because the floor shifted in the costume on the stage and my show was significantly different that night. <laughs> yeah, that was an incredible night and I'll, I, I'll never forget that one. Welcome back. Thank you. Yeah. Welcome in. My favorite moment was listening to our cast album. It was just us and I got to hear my sisters hear themselves and know that they killed that album. It was just like, I could hear every breath. I could hear and I could go back in time and and know exactly why we took that breath at that time. Just closing my eyes and listening to the album, I experienced everything that we had gone through in the last three years, and I felt so much pride. I guess my favorite moment is how we all are able to come together right before the show. I just appreciate so much that someone makes me laugh. Like, we just connect in some sort of way. Just the compilation of that every single time we do this show, it's just beautiful. I, I, I appreciate it so much because it always reminds me of how far we've come, where we're going, and that there's so much more like to experience in the making of the moment of the night. Aww, hey. yeah, I love that. Let's hey. get loud. Let's that. get loud. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's get, get loud. loud. Let's, let's get, get loud. loud. Let's get loud. The whole journey, I guess, in itself is just, it's so epic. We've all become incredible, grown versions of ourselves, and it's just wild to see like 
the process from where we started. I never would have thought we'd come all this way and that we'd be here having tea, you know, at the Skylark. Um, <laughs> but it's just incredible, like all in all. I mean, there's so many moments I could never choose. I love it. Oh. So many moments, so many cities. Well, so many moments. look, you guys, this has been so nice. It's been so lovely to hang out and chat. I also just want to say, hopefully on behalf of Lucy Moss as well, that for all of you, you know, those who've been there from the beginning and those who've just joined and like, just very, very proud of all of you and very, very grateful to all of you as well for all the work that you do, because I think you're sensational and you're all very lovely as well. And the show wouldn't be doing what it's doing if it wasn't for you guys making people fall in love with the characters and with the music and with the show every single evening. So thank you so much. Beautiful. You guys. Actually, you guys are actually so nice. Once, once that you get to know you, it's actually so nice. <laughs> So thank you so much for, for tuning in and watching our round table. Thank you so much to the Skylark for having us in your gorgeous, gorgeous bar. And lastly, thank you so much to the Queendom for watching and for your support. We love you so much. We love you. We love you. We love you. <laughs>